All right, well, fixing the BMW again. The diff bolt broke. Apparently, this issue is pretty common with these. The uh, E36 has three diff bolts, two in the back, one in the front, and the one on the front side right next to the uh, drivetrain. Uh, this one has snapped three times now, so we're going to figure out a way to fix it. That's what I have to do today. I'm, it, it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. So I already got the bolt out. I'm going to get under the car. I got to get the rest of the diff out and then go to the store to get a bolt extractor or whatever um, to get the rest of the bolt that's in the diff right now out. There's a bit of a problem with mine because the second time we did it, we drilled a bigger hole and we only did it like halfway because um, we couldn't get the other bolt out. So I'm going to have an issue where halfway through the size of like the thread and everything is going to be big and then the back section is going to be small. So I'm going to have to figure something out for that too. I'm going to get right under my car right now and get to it. All right, so here's what I got to take off first is I got to take this off. Um, uh, once that's off, I take the drivetrain off, which you can maybe, no, it's a little too dark. You can't really see it too well, but... Let me try and focus in. Um, you can kind of see these nuts hit the bottom of my car quite a bit. That's where it's hitting, right there. You can kind of see the scratches. So, and I gotta paint that once I get this off so I don't get rust. Take off my CV axles. Um, these two bolts in the back here, which I don't think I have the right tool, so I'm gonna have to go get those. And then, this is gonna suck. Alright, so you can see right here is uh, the culprit. Once again, I hate this car. This is, uh, yeah, this, again, this is a common issue, I guess. I don't know, dude, like, I talked to a couple yesterday about this. And, um, yeah, it happens, uh, more, more often than you would like. So, I gotta go figure out how I'm gonna get this out, and then get the one on the other side. These are two different bolts that are in here, by the way. And this one's way bigger than the one originally in there. So I'm gonna have to find something to, uh, drill through, all the way through for the rest of it, to put the bigger bolt in all the way through, so I can put a nut on the end, and hopefully it won't break. Hopefully a bigger bolt will fix this issue. But my god, man, pulling these, after you do it a couple times, it's, it's pretty easy. But look at that. Every time this breaks, I'm like, man, there goes my diff. That's it. It's game over. But yeah, it's still, still welded pretty good. If ever did the weld on this diff, didn't do too bad of a job. So yeah, I'm off to figure this out right now, and I'll be back briefly. So after spending quite a bit of time trying to figure out how I was going to get these either by borrowing it from somebody or just finding a way to go get a set myself like I did um, here's a tap and die set we're gonna stretch it out half an inch so one of two things is gonna happen we're gonna tap it out half an inch and put a really big bolt through there with a locking nut on the end and a washer in between the uh, the bushing and the bolts and hope see if that works uh, or the diff bushing, the front diff bushing could be bad, which is what's causing this to snap a lot because under load, it's only snapping under serious load. So I'm gonna use the screw extractor kit to get the bolts out, and then I'm gonna use the tap and die set to make it a half inch, and then tomorrow when Ace is open, I'm gonna go grab um, a bolt. <laughs> Look at that though. I'm trying to focus in on it. There we go. That's crazy. That's crazy, dog. So yeah, now we got one more bolt to get. We got one out. Got another one to get. And then we're gonna tap it. And then dye yeah. it. <laughs> dye it, whatever. I don't know. Dude, whatever the f the hell that is, I don't give a shit. I just want to get this done, okay? All right, so I actually just put everything away right now. Um, I didn't want this to be a two-day thing, but it's gonna be because I don't have the right tools or the parts, and the stores are closed right now because it's Sunday. I'm just gonna take a half-inch bit, drill it all the way out, drill out the bushing, and then do, uh, drill out the bushing if I need to, but then just get 
like a grade 10 bolt and just put a really big long fat bolt through it and see if that works. So let's move on to the next day. And it's currently the next day. <clears throat> I got the half inch, both of everything. So here's exactly what's going to happen. All right, so the bolt in here is pretty fucking seized. It ain't coming out. So what we're going to do, we have to make this a half inch anyways. So <clears throat> I got this big ass drill from Reed's grandfather who lives right down this, right next door. Half inch um, bit. Drill that out, and then half inch uh, little tap and die tool. That yeah, we're gonna make that work. So, and then we're gonna get a half inch bolt of a high grade, and then a lock nut to put on the back here on this side, and hopefully that works. So, I'm gonna drill this out right now. Alright, on some gain shit right now, dude. This thing's badass. It just, uh, it just like completely just shot that bolt out. It's right here. It shot this thing out. Um, this is why I couldn't grab it with the, uh, the screw set, the screw extractor, is because it was already, we kind of drilled on the edge a little bit. So, yeah, that, dude, that worked awesome. So it just shot it right out and then made a big enough hole. Still not a half inch. But um, I think we'll we'll figure it out. I gotta do that to the the bushing too. Just drill a hole through the bushing, and then figure out a bolt to get through there. Well, I was starting to drill out this uh, this to make it the size of that, and guess what? This bushing is. So that would also explain why my bolts keep breaking. And yeah. I'm gonna lay down and get dirt in my eyes. Yeah, I'm gonna lay here and contemplate life because this sucks. Your boy just had to pull out another advance. I got dirt in my eye again. Your boy just had to pull out another advance on his paycheck to get a new bushing that I'm gonna have to wait for. And now, yeah, there's not much else I can do now. Okay, well, I guess the last thing we're gonna do then is turn down my eyes so my hair is probably a mess because I've been moving around a lot under the car I need a haircut all right the last thing I'm gonna do in this video is take the smaller drill and cut out the bushing and take that bushing out so when I get the new bushing uh, put it in I took an advance out on my paycheck to get an actual poly bushing I was trying to find like somebody who may have had like an OEM spare one just laying around but um but yeah, and every part store that I called does not have any in stock. So regardless, I was going to have to wait. And I figured if I have to wait, I, I'd rather put in the right stuff than put in something that's eventually going to break a lot sooner. So I'm going to get this bushing out, and then we'll kind of go from there. Oops. Well, that was... The second smallest one I had, I don't have a smaller one. So now, now I have to wait till I get my full paycheck to go to the goddamn store to get another one. I forgot, it's Pittsburgh. I can go to Harbor Freight and get a new one. Well, I'm just gonna keep drilling that out with another bit when I can go get one. And with that, I'm gonna end this video here. I will just wait till I get the part and then continue the rest of this video then all right so with that i'm gonna bounce out of here i'll see you guys all then and have a great week and don't forget to like comment subscribe um i'm gonna keep breaking more shit so i'll see you guys when i break something else okay bye